is Big Brother, Mini reports to the diary room. guys wait okay first of all can we all agree that biggie is the show of this season no caps i mean biggie is the show of the season listen what the housemates have not been able to do in terms of being innovative with their games with pranks you know just giving us content rich content basically guys big brother is dishing it out to us hot hot in a very very savage way <laughs> Gaslighted Saga. Hey, my God. You know, the, you know the fun part of this whole game, this whole prank? It's the fact that the housemates, the rest of the housemates, they actually think that Biggie is actually torturing them. But what they don't know is that this whole stress, this whole mental, emotional stress, yeah, it's all directed at Saga. No other person but Saga. Guys, did you see the way Saga jumped off his bed? Hi! Biggie is the cruise master. Oh God, no caps. Like respect to Big Brother. I guess you're wondering what happened right there on that video, guys. The housemates, they were all taking an afternoon nap. Yes, and some of them were actually awake. Licorice was awake. Emmanuel was awake, dancing as usual. But then Big Brother decided to give a clarion call to Mini, knowing fully well that the rest of the housemates are still searching for Nini. It's like finding Nemo. <laughs> When Nemo's parents were under the belly of the sea and were shouting, Nemo, Nino, up and down. <laughs> Biggie, from wherever he is, he just boomed down the mic. This is Big Brother. Nini reports to the diary room. It was quite shocking the way Saga, especially, woke up from sleep. I mean, guys, wow. That is deep. It means this guy, even in his sleep, even in his subconscious, he is still carrying the thoughts of Nini in his mind. Because the way he jumped up, Saga had been sleeping for over two hours now. I mean, since after he had his breakfast, Saga had been sleeping. So the way he jumped off his bed, the moment he heard Biggie calling Nini to come to the diary room, guys, it was quite shocking. And I'm like, wow, these people's love, affection, or obsession, whatever it is, it runs really deep from Saga's end, of course. Because, guys, I, I, I was scared. Like, dude, <laughs> the way you jumped, for real? Now, Biggie did it twice. He called out to Nini twice. This is Big Brother. Nini reports to the diary room. Out of curiosity, out of fear, I don't know, but out of mixed emotions, all the housemates, they stood right there in the middle of the hallway yeah the, the the space between the lounge the living room lounge and the kitchen they were all waiting to see where nini will emerge from saga immediately went to go and stay beside the storeroom door because quite naturally anybody would think that okay maybe she's gonna come from that area right so saga stood right there like dude was not budging he wasn't moving he wasn't going anywhere the rest of the housemates they were looking at him in pity but they were also scared because they didn't just understand what was going on but guys in the midst of all of these things i don't know how many of you caught up on one person's facial expression one i think two people's facial expression i'm talking about liquor rose and emmanuel guys liquor rose especially seems very very suspicious to me i mean guys look at the expression on her face look at the way she even smiled knowingly like she knew what was going on and guys i have a very very strong feeling that because she's the head of house Biggie must have given her a hint already that, hey, don't worry, Nini is in safe hands, you know, it's probably a prank or something. I just have a strong feeling that Big Brother must have given her a hint. And guys, Emmanuel, yes, I know that on a normal day, Emmanuel is a very, very calm person. But Emmanuel, too, was unusually calm. He wasn't even threatened like the rest of the house. He just sat there, eating his munchet, while Licorus was... Like, her expression was all over the place. One minute, she's smiling and then she's frowning her face. And guys, I was so impressed by the way that Pere automatically started noticing Lee Corose's body language, Emmanuel's body language, even white money, guys. Because, you know, 
say these people that we've mentioned now especially emmanuel and white money they don't panic even when they're up for eviction they don't really panic white money especially never ever panic so it's quite natural for Perry to suspect him, you know, that he has a hint of the prank. But Perry was that one housemate that was 100% sure that this was a prank. And guys, probably because of his military training, he also had, you know, these instincts telling him that Big Brother is fully aware that this girl is not in this house. So for him to be calling her, he must have told her to hide somewhere that when he calls, she should not come out. And guys, it was just so interesting how accurate Perry's thoughts are right but then guys the truth is the difference between that and the actual reality is perry has no idea but his instincts his thoughts are 100 percent sound and then <laughs> nini on the other hand was in a private secret location laughing her head off guys it was just so hilarious she was laughing because this housemates were making all manner of speculations they were saying that oh maybe nini should be under the staircase oh did you put check the garden behind the chair behind the bed like guys it was just so funny like it was cracking Nini up seriously, but partially she was very, very sad. At some point, she was begging Big Brother, Big Brother, this is becoming too much for my saga. Oh, baby, stop crying. No. She was just consoling Saga from her own secret location. And she was feeling sorry for her fellow housemate because Angel, Madame Mental Health, she was already, in fact, since last night she had been lamenting, Oh, Big Brother, I have anxiety you. Big Brother, this is not good for our mental health. So that one was just lamenting and lamenting and lamenting. But Perry kept on impressing me because whilst everybody was fretting, panicking, Perry decided to bring his military training into play and then he started walking around the house, sniffing the entire place, searching for Nini, just looking out for clues. But guys, already, Perry is that one housemate that clearly knows, you know, by his own instincts that this is a prank. And guys, one thing I don't even understand with Saga is why can't Saga understand that this could also be a prank? I mean, you were given a prank you failed it you did not even go through with it at all and now it's quite natural that to get back at him big brother would be using nini as well to do a prank but then guys i feel like saga is just too much in his emotions he's not even understanding anything at the moment dude just wants to see nini he just wants to see his oxygen he just wants to see the love of his life he just wants to see his life support he just wants to see his lifeline he just wants to see the only person that makes him live and exist and breathe in biggie's house and guys at this point in time i am praying for time to run <laughs> i'm praying for 24 hours to come and go so that this torture will be over and done with for saga guys i feel so sorry for saga his eyes are swollen guys in a matter of how many hours saga don't live past as he did so his face is looking gaunt all his bones are coming and dude is looking as if he has been suffering for years but guys regardless of all of that i am seriously enjoying the prank and i cannot wait to see the aftermath of the prank or even before the aftermath i cannot wait to see more gaslighting that big brother is going to be dishing out to saga especially in that house let me know if you're enjoying the prank so far in the comment section below and i will see you in more videos shortly have an amazing day bye